Welcome back, fellow scientists. This week on Silly Science, things are going to get a little bit spooky. We're going to make expanding ghosts. To make your ghost, you will need a white balloon, or any color that you might have at home. Mine is blue, because that's what we had at the library. An empty plastic bottle. One tablespoon of baking soda and half a cup of vinegar. You may also want some funnels to help get your ingredients into the various places they need to go. And you may also want a permanent marker so you can draw a spooky face on your balloon. I drew one on mine, though it's hard to see since my balloon's such a dark color. Your first step to making your spooky ghost is to pour your vinegar into your plastic bottle. Once your vinegar is ready to go, you're going to take your balloon and put the end of the funnel into your balloon. Then you will measure out one tablespoon of baking soda into your funnel and shake it into your balloon. I've already done this because it took a little while for me to shake all that baking soda down inside. Once the baking soda is all inside the balloon, you're going to take the end of it and you're going to stretch it over the opening of the bottle, being careful not to pour your baking soda in yet. Are you ready to make an expanding ghost? When you're ready, you're going to tip your balloon up so the baking soda spills into the vinegar and your balloon expands. That was pretty cool! The science behind the spooky expanding ghosts is really simple. The product of mixing baking soda and vinegar is carbon dioxide, which is a gas present when we breathe. Carbon dioxide fills the bottle, and when it can't fill the bottle anymore, it, it fills the balloon. It's that simple. The amounts of baking soda and vinegar that I specified in this experiment work really well for the size of the bottle and the balloon. To change up this experiment, you could try more or less baking soda or more or less vinegar, or a different size bottle, or some combination of all of these options. If you do add more of the ingredients, you probably want to take this experiment outside because it might make so much gas that the balloon bursts. Try growing your own expanding ghost at home and let us know how it goes. Thank you for joining us on this episode of Silly Science. See you again soon!